this partnership between Stripey Stalk and Surrey Choices has been evolving for a number of years but has really taken off in the last six months and we have been so delighted to have a number of Surrey Choices customers with us on a regular basis in that time. Surrey Choices Employability, they've been on hand um, every step of the way, you know, so not just for support for the young people but also support for the employers as well. Um, there's, there's never been a time when we felt unsupported. There's lots of support from, from Surrey Choice and ESSs. Um, most recently, uh, we're going, so facilities management within the council is being outsourced. So our four ladies that currently work across the hub sites, Caroline, Sarah, Becky and Nitya, they've had to 2P from Surrey to Mace Macro now. Um, and the support that we've had has been invaluable. The team at, at Surrey Choices are brilliant and uh, we've always had great support from them and anything we've ever needed. They're always at the end of the phone, they're very responsive, they always get back to emails very quickly and we've, I've always felt like they're extremely engaged, not only in understanding our service and what we need to get out of volunteering roles, but in the way that they advocate for their clients and that they make sure that the volunteering roles they're arranging are actually truly suitable for them and that they'll like you know that it will be a two-way partnership that will work for everyone it doesn't ever feel like a tokenistic approach it always feels like they've thought this through um, and that I just find them to be extremely reliable and, and just lovely people to deal with. If you are looking for young people to offer an alternative solution to problems they might come up with, a, with something that you've never thought of and that's what I love about working with the young people from Surrey Choices and employability. You know, they throw a whole new perspective on problem solving, different ideas. Please don't be hesitant. Everybody that I've managed through, through Caroline, Sarah, Kelvin, um, Jackson, they, they've done the job, you know, they, they, they're like everybody else. They have things they like to do, things they don't like to do. They have things they're capable of doing and things they're not capable of doing. That's no different to any other member of staff in my team. So there should not be a fear there that you're you're not getting value for money or you're not getting somebody that you could. I think a big fear for a lot of people is well they'll they'll just have the few things that they can do and that's it. Well, no, that's not it at all. If you're prepared to to invest and put time in and build relationships, as with any other member of staff, they then will do more things. As long as you know, you train them, you teach them, you guide them. You, this, you couldn't ask anyone to do something they've never done before and just expect them to be able to do it. That's not, you know, so yeah, I think people shouldn't be afraid. They shouldn't feel as though there's limitations on people that come to us through employability or sorry choices because you'd be surprised at their capacity 